Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you the basic on how to key a green screen footage in After Effects. So by now, you might have a pretty good general idea on how the Hollywood films place their actors with visual effects. Well, I'm not a visual effects artist myself, but I'm gonna show you the basic technique on how to get an actor, or any object for that matter, on a fake background or visual effects. All you need is a well-lit green screen footage like this one. If you're working with a videographer who shot the green screen footage, chances are they probably know how to light the footage itself. But if you're doing it for yourself, just make sure that your subject doesn't have any green color and then make sure the lighting of the green screen background is fairly even so it'll be easier for you to key. This whole green screen keying could be super complex and advanced depending on the lighting you want on your subject and depending on whether your subject moves or not or depending on if the camera moves or not and there's many more other aspects. Today I'm just going to show you the basic of keying green screen. So I have my footage here, it's actually pretty well lit, the background, so it's gonna be super easy to work with. So what we wanna do is to go to effects and presets, type in key light, and when you type in key light, there's two options. There's the key light bundle, which includes key cleaner and advanced pill suppressor, and there's the key light itself. For now, I'm just gonna show you one by one, so let's pick the key light and put it on your footage, and basically you just have to select this eyedropper and select the green color and it seems like it's all done but it's actually not so if you move your playhead along you can see like the background is a bit fuzzy and we just have to clean that up change the view mode to screen mat and we want to just make sure that the background is fully black so that it's completely keyed out and the objects any objects that you want it to be visible have to be fully white so let's go under screen mat here and then play along with the clip black and clip white. Let's start with the clip black. Basically, I'm just like scrolling through the value of the clip black and just make sure that all of the background is fully black. And then the clip white, I'm just gonna reduce it to make the object fully white. And you can see here on the edge of her hair, it's still kind of like gray. So I'm just gonna reduce it a bit more. Something like that should be fine. Now I'm just gonna move the playhead along and see if it looks fine. I think it looks fine. And then we're gonna change the view mode to final result to see the object itself. Sometimes you wanna play along with the screen shrink grow and screen softness as well. It all depends on your footage. As I said before, this footage is really easy to work with. It's really well lit. So literally only took me like five seconds to do it. But I'm just going to show you what the screen shrink and grow does. So if you increase the value, kind of like add edge onto your object. But if you reduce it like to minus, kind of like cut away the edge of your object. But now I'm just going to leave it at zero. Screen softness is basically adding feather to the edge of your object. So it just kind of like soften the edge. You can do it there, but you can also add another effect called key cleaner. So before I add the key cleaner, I want to change the view mode to intermediate result. You can always just leave it to final result and play around with the screen softness here. But I personally like to change it to intermediate result because sometimes or most of the time it just works well with the object itself, especially with like the hair. And then go back to effects and presets, look for key cleaner and then just drop down to your footage and it basically just automatically soften your edges. You can play around with the number because at the moment it's on 10. You can reduce it to five if you feel like it's too soft or even like increase it up. I'm just gonna leave it at eight. Now, as you can see, when, when I change that to intermediate result, we can see like the green edge on your object and we wanna get rid of that. Go back to effects and presets and now look for advanced spill suppressor which is this one and as soon as you drop that on to your footage it just get rid of the green color note that the key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor only works if your view mode is on intermediate result 
and that's pretty much it. You can place your keyed object onto any background you want. Here I have made a background myself. You can download this background itself on Gumroad and I've put the link in the description below. But you can make any background that you want yourself. Now I just want to change the color of this lady just to kind of like fit the background more. So I'm gonna use this effect called Colorista. If you guys aren't familiar with Colorista, it's basically an effect by Red Giant and I've put the link in the description below if you want to download it. So what I'm gonna do, send up the shadow a little bit so it's kind of looks a bit faded out. And then the mid tone, I'm gonna make it like a bit pink because like there's a lot of pink in the background shadow to like dark blue not too much maybe like somewhere there and then the highlight probably like light blue like that turn up the mid-tone a little bit and then i'm also gonna add an adjustment layer and i'm gonna call it grain and if you go to effects and presets and type in add grain drop that onto your adjustment layer and change the viewing mode to final output so that it applies to the whole composition. That's how you key a green screen footage. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. As I said before, keying a green screen footage could be really complex and advanced. In this tutorial, I'm just showing you really like the basic of keying a green screen footage. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any requests for next episode. Thanks guys.